Hey guys, it's actually Tuesday today and I have not been very well which is why I didn't vlog yesterday and um, I'm still not very well today but I didn't want to have more than one day off because I'll get out of the habit of vlogging. So, I look like rubbish, I'm having a couple of no makeup days because I have some eczema around my eyes that's really causing me problems for the last few weeks. Um, so I'm having a couple of no makeup days with just lots of moisturiser and I do not have good skin. I used to have good skin um, a couple of years ago and then as of 2015 it just got really bad so um, yeah I do not have good skin anymore so I don't like having a no makeup day but it's kind of necessary at the moment. Um, this week should hopefully be good apart from the fact that I'm not feeling very well um, because it is my birthday week. I'm 23 on Thursday so that's exciting, um, so hopefully I'll have some fun things to share with you then. Um, but basically I just have, the last couple of days I've felt very tired, very sick, um, and I've got a really horrible t um, headache, which I've had for like four days now, and I just feel really spacey and rubbish, so that's not fun. But yeah, like I said, yesterday I took the day off vlogging and I went over to my mum's house for the afternoon and just played with the dogs and my nan and my auntie were there. So um, I got to have a catch up with them and um, I think I maybe got some footage of the puppies so I will insert that now if I did. And um, also my parents are building a summer house in their garden and laying a whole new patio and everything. So I got some footage of that because it's looking really good. Um... But yeah, other than that, I didn't do anything. We watched the Game of Thrones finale last night, which was so good. Um, I basically predicted everything that was going to happen because I've read the books. And I know the books and the TV show are going in different directions now, but a lot of the main themes are still the same. Um, so I kind of predicted roughly what was going to happen. Um, so that was fun. And what else? Oh my gosh, I look so bad. I'm so sorry, guys. And... Um, today I'm actually in the Hobbycraft car park right now waiting for my mum so hopefully I'll be able to film in Hobbycraft in a minute. Is that my mum? No it's not, it's a car that looks like her. If you watched my weekly vlogs from last week you'll know that it was Winnie's Gotcha Day last Monday and we were donated a cake. Um, another company called Fairy Tales Bakery have sent us a cookie but unfortunately it looks like it's been bashed around a bit by the post service. Um, I'm sure that um, had they not knocked the box around it would have arrived in a lot better shape but it's still very cute. I'm going to give some to Winnie now. Winnie what's this? What's this? Yes, Archie, you can have a piece too. Come on then. Let's break it up. Winnie, nicely. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you can have some, Archie. Look how dirty the floor is. Oh my gosh, I need to mop. Do you not want it? Wow. Okay. I'm really sorry I haven't filmed again today, guys. I'm still not feeling very well at all, but I am about to jump into bar into a bath, a nice bubble bath. Our bathroom is still unfinished. The tiles are all gross down there. We haven't got our um what's it called? The side of the bath on yet. Bath panel, that's what it's called. We haven't got the bath panel yet. The sealant all needs redoing to make it neat. We've got no ventilation yet, so we've got an ugly um, humidity thing down there. But I bought myself a bath bridge, so you know I'm going to use it. And I'm about to get into this lush bath. Hello! Today is my birthday. Yay! I'm 23 today. I'm feeling a little bit better today, thankfully. Sorry, I'm being annoying and looking at the camera. I'm just trying to fix my hair. Let's go in the living room. Yeah, so I'm 23 today. I'm feeling a little bit better. I've got a horrible breakout on my chin, so that's not making me feel good, but I've washed my hair and curled it a bit. Even though it's gone frizzy, it looks better than it looked yesterday, trust me. 
Um, I've been spoiled. I've had some presents from Will today and um, we're just going to go out for brunch now and I'm sorry <laughs> and I'm going to go over and see my parents after that. My little brother has got his college enrolment today so that's why I haven't been around there yet. This is one of my presents from Will. It's one of the Webster's Pages Traveller's Notebooks. It's one of the new patterns. I love it. Maggie is much more excited than Mabel is. Hello! Hello! So when I got to my parents' house, there was a parcel waiting for me from Lois, who I met at Planacon in April, and she sent me all these birthday gifts. Like, how kind is that? I couldn't believe it. Thank you so much, Lois. Hello, excuse my face, but it is now much later. It's 25 to seven. I've been at my mum's basically all afternoon. I thought I would show you um, some of my presents that I got today. So, sorry if you hear noise in the background. My boyfriend's taken the recycling out and he's about to start breaking down cardboard boxes. Um, but my mum got me two of my Bridgewater mugs to start off my Harry Potter collection. I can't believe it's taken me so long to get any with Harry Potter quotes on to be honest. I think it's because a lot of what I want is quite long. So, and obviously with a personalized mug, it's a pound a letter. So yeah. The Hermione one she found on eBay and my hair looks a lot like Hermione's hair when she was in Philosopher's Stone. And um, the Hogwarts alum is obviously Hogwarts alumni. So like graduated from Hogwarts and I absolutely love them. Uh, she also got me this I love you this much mug and it's a sausage dog so cute and I love these travel mugs obviously this morning I showed you that Will got me this beautiful traveller's notebook and he got me a jokey mug painting set because as if I need any more mugs <laughs> but it's kind of like a joke present but I'll actually have fun decorating it and he got me the new Patrick Ness book which is called Release um, and he also gave me some money. These are all my lovely cards that people have given me. And this one is from Daisy, my friend over at My Green Cow. She's probably like my best crafty friend and she also got me an Etsy voucher. So thank you very much, Daisy. This is a little gift to myself. I'm just taking it back into the better lighting. Um, I ordered this from Anna at Mrs. Brimble's. Um, I bought this for myself as a little birthday gift and then Will got me the grey one. So now I've got two new ones. I'm super excited to use those. And then up here in my craft room is the best gift of all. This is my main gift from my parents. It's an Alice in Wonderland chair and it's so beautiful um mum meant for it to go like up against my desk but right now i just want to admire it every time i come into my craft room so i've popped it here um where my parents live she um she where my parents live there is a little antique shop and tea room over the road from them and my mum and her friend went in there i think it was last week this time last week and um, apparently this was just in the antique furniture part of the shop and she just had to buy it because if you don't know, Alice in Wonderland is basically one of my favorite books. And if I move the chair, sorry if it's all dusty, I very rarely um, sweep these shelves. This is my Alice in Wonderland bookshelf and I've got a white rabbit um, snow globe and a little Alice Pop Funko and I also have lots of different editions of Alice on these 
classic shelves so it's definitely one of my favorite stories and I couldn't believe it when I opened it because my mum wrapped it and everything I couldn't believe it when I opened it and saw that Alice was on the chair so yeah that's definitely my favorite gift and surprise gifts are lovely too because I think I showed you um, Lois who I met through UK Planner Addicts and I met her in person at PlannerCon in April um, she sent me a little surprise parcel of goodies and there was so much in there so I think I've already said it in the vlog but thank you so much Lois it was so nice of you <laughs> hello it is Friday the day after my birthday and the dogs and I are off to our friend Shannon's house to see Bernie and little Ned. The dogs have only very briefly met Ned before, so we're hoping it's gonna go okay, but it's really sunny, so we're just gonna sit out in the garden and hopefully the dogs will get on. I have packed up some Etsy orders and now I'm going to go um, post these and then I'm going to get changed and start painting the rabbit shed because it was one of the jobs that I really wanted to do this summer. I didn't get around to it. I haven't done any of the jobs that I wanted to do this summer. Um, so I thought, you know, I've got a couple of days left. It's sunny outside right now. I'm going to try and do a bit of painting. So lots of people always ask me about how I get my photos printed for my scrapbooks and a lot of the time I use my Canon selfie. Um, however, at the moment I'm not printing photos often enough to justify how much um, the paper costs. The paper's nearly £30 um, and when I use my selfie I get through it quite quickly. And that's another thing as well, people always ask me how I get my small photos for my creative journal and what I do is I make a collage on Picasso. So I make the collage, I export the collage, and then I just print it out and cut out the photos.
I baked some cookies. Yum. Hey guys, it's Sunday and it's raining and we've been food shopping and I'm stressed. Will's never stressed, <laughs> but I am. Look at this weather as well. Look at that. 